guys myself Ajay and I will show you how to fix the problem you are facing in Android Studio VT minus X in the very easy steps go through the follow my steps and you will be fixing very easy steps okay first whenever you run uh, the AVD app means you will get sometimes error that VT minus X is uh, disabled uh, okay sometimes I will show you here it is only it is showing CML guys no USB or VT minus X is disabled in BIOS okay uh, when you press the OK you will get an error that Intel exam is required to run this AVD VT minus X is disabled in BIOS this error is mainly because in the BIOS security settings you are not enabled the VT minus X I will show you how to enable this okay so guys you have already installed this uh, tool that is Intel uh, x86 you have already installed this then emulator accelerator xxma is already installed but then also it is showing the error how to fix you can also verify by using the run command in that uh, i will show you guys run in that you need to type ms info 32 and you press this and press ok and the window will be shown that all the system summary will be given in that you can check by going down that here hyper visualization is not enabled so here showing it is no I will show you how to enable in very easy steps uh, go to uh, settings press settings and go to the update and security in that uh, when you press this here comes the options will be there in the left side go to the recovery mode in that advanced startup will be there press restart there is a one window will be opened all the turbo shooting problems will be there this uh, turbo shoot window after press this turbo shoot and press this advanced option and will uh, one more window will becomes here I will show you advanced options in wait come you get this uh, startup all these advanced options in that you click the startup setting and this uh, startup settings all the details will be comes before pressing the restart you make sure that you need to press continuously F10 uh, in the function key I will press guys see a uh, restart and I'm pressing the F10 button continuously so that the BIOS settings will be opened yes guys in that all the security system configuration exit there are four options up there you can see here clearly main here it is comes by pressing the arrow security and system configurations in that you will find that virtual technology is disabled i will show you how to enable by pressing uh, when you come uh, clicking on that and press and enter it will show the two options enabled or disabled first it is disabled so I will make it is enabled once you enabled it will be show that it is enabled the virtual technology after that you need to save and exit for that here this option is there save and exit press again the F10 button after building the pop-up will becomes that exit saving changes press and yes and uh, it will go to the again on the advanced options in that you need to click just an escape button this is an startup setting you don't do anything here just press an escape key then it will be restarting the piece is restarting guys check by again by using the run command in that uh, type system in activated ms info and guys it is wait it is not auto focusing yes it is you can press again ms info that you will find the system summary in that you can find that it is yes yes see here you can find hyper virtualization enabled yes you can find the C's yes so means it is enabled guys now you can run the android studio avd without any Fixer I showed to HP laptops. All the HP laptops are based on this system. Only I will show by running the Android Studio, guys. Just it is loading. Just it is loading. If you have different laptop means it can be mainly work. No problem.
by running that uh, AVD there is no error once you on that it is initializing the DB wait for the device to come online yes guys now I hope there is no error you can find that the two processes are running just wait the AVD will be starting soon I hope guys this will be work if you have any problem please comment below and do subscribe this is on share thank you guys guys